What do you mean by an audio power beater? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So let us ask yourself that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term audio power meter? Well, let's find out. So audio power meter, just like the name suggests, it is a device that is used to measure the audio power. So the word audio, the word audio, first when we think of the word audio, the first obvious thing that would come to our mind is a pair of speakers. We listen to music, we listen to audios, everything through speakers. So here I've drawn a pair of speakers, but simply with the help of a pair of speakers, we can't play an audio. This speaker has to be connected to something. So therefore, this speaker is connected to a device which is referred to as an amplifier. These speakers are connected to a device which is referred to as an amplifier. And it is to this amplifier that we connect our mobile phones or laptops or whatever we connect with which we can play music. So let us imagine that I am connecting my mobile phone to this particular amplifier. I'm playing a particular track, a particular song. I'm playing a song from my mobile phone. So this mobile phone will pass it to this particular amplifier. And now what this amplifier does is that it amplifies that music and it passes it on towards this particular speaker. That is, it beefs it up or it enhances it or increases the power because there is only a certain limit to which this particular device can give an output. But that output won't be sufficient to be provided to this particular speaker. So whatever input is being given from this particular phone to this particular amplifier must be amplified so that it has to be passed on to this particular speaker. So therefore here the term audio power is defined as the amount of electric power that is transferred from the amplifier to the speakers. As simple as that. That is simply what we refer to as audio power. And therefore, an audio power meter is simply a device that is used for the purpose of measuring how much power is transferred from this particular amplifier to this particular speaker. Audio power is measured in the terms of watts. So audio power is the electric power that is transferred from the amplifier to the speakers. Here it is measured in watts. So you might have observed in old cars, that is cars from the year 2008, 2006, cars like Hyundai, Santro, Wagonor, Alto. So in all these cars, when you listen to music, you won't actually feel the bass or the power from the output of these speakers that come from the company. But nowadays, in modern cars, when you play the music, you can actually feel the speakers being powerful. That is, it plays the music very powerful that you can actually feel the bass hitting your chest. You can feel the beats hitting your chest. That is because those speakers have very high power when compared to the speakers that were present in the older cars. So that is because the audio output of these speakers is very high. That is the power of these speakers very high. So therefore we can say that these have a higher watt rating of power, audio power for these speakers. But how do we measure this? How do we measure the power that is provided from a particular amplifier to this particular speaker? It is very simple. So for that, what we do is that we go back to nine standard physics. We take this particular amplifier and it is across this particular amplifier that we connect a particular speaker system like this. So the main objective of an audio power meter is to measure the power, the electronic power that is transferred from this particular amplifier to this particular speaker. So now recollecting nine standard physics, we know that when a particular resistor is connected in parallel like this, the same amount of voltage would be present in this resistor and this particular speaker. So therefore what we do is that a dummy resistor is connected in parallel to this particular amplifier and to this particular speaker over here. So this resistor is called a dummy load. So the value of resistance of this particular dummy load is known. So if we know the value of this resistance, then the power can be measured with the formula 
P is equal to, we can either measure the voltage across this or we can measure the current across this. So let us imagine that we are measuring the voltage across this and we get a voltage as V. Then we know that P is equal to V squared by R. Here the value of resistance is known. Or if you are measuring the current that is present across this particular dummy resistance, then we get P is equal to I squared R. So therefore, by this method, we can actually measure the power output that is provided from this particular amplifier to this particular speaker. That is because if a resistance is connected in parallel, the same exact voltage that is supplied to this particular speaker will be provided to this particular resistor. And therefore, by either calculating the voltage or the current, because we know the value of resistance of this dummy load, we can calculate the power using the formula P is equal to V squared by R or P is equal to I squared R. As simple as that. This thus is basically how we measure the audio power using an audio power meter. As simple as that. So this thus sums up what you mean by the term an audio power meter. As simple as that, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as an audio power meter. And if you guys found this video informative, do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.